So I'm starting here on the second day. I've been working for a little while here, um, but the, the clouds have covered the sun up there. Well, the sun just came back out again, so uh, kind of gives you an idea of what, <clears throat> what the scene is out there. It's definitely a challenging scene, especially on a day like this with the sun going in and out of the clouds basically <laughs> all day, but I've, I've sort of had the mentality of like I'm just gonna stick it out no matter how uh, kind of how long it takes or how much the uh, really how much it gets overgrown that's kind of a it's kind of an issue because I'm really really counting on this these parts here of the, the river the lieutenant river being visible and if it really starts to fill in and get overgrown compositionally it's gonna change things a lot so um, but basically it's developed a little bit since last time and uh, it's definitely going to take a number of sessions. So here it is a little further along in the day. I'll probably go for another hour today here on the second day. Uh, it is actually a beautiful day. It's just been cloudy a lot of the day, but starting to get, you know, most of the canvas covered. That's mostly what I'm focused on is getting, getting the whole canvas covered, which probably won't happen until next time. And also just thinking about the fact that it's, it's just gonna, it is gonna get over more and more. Um, it's gonna just change the scene. It's just gonna change week, week to week, basically. So but the path is in place in the picture, so I feel like even if lots, lots more greenery comes out and everything, lots more leaves, things get covered, we'll still just go with it. A lot of these sections, they're really pretty abstract, like when you zoom in on it, like, how do you paint that? I mean, how, how do you paint like that section right there? I mean, it's essentially an abstract painting. There's not much to really cling to. Um, as far as traditional, you know, drawing goes. Uh, it's great when you can see an edge, like out there, um, with that tree out in the distance, or this, you have very clear edges on these big trees in the foreground here. So again, it's at that stage where the, uh, the major, the major uh, cast shadows from the trees have started to shift downwards basically um but i was kind of thinking of just like planning ahead like it's almost almost feeling like it's better to get the canvas covered with something even if it's just an approximation of of, of you know basically you've got the gravel uh, road you've got some green green uh, grass basically in between and to the edge and then you've got like, sort of leaves which are red in color over here I almost feel like the strategy is to kind of establish a base and then make the decision on where those cast shadows are, are probably next time and the time after. So just finishing up here on, on day two of this landscape, I'm pretty sure that, these, uh, that the river will stay visible at least a little bit over the next, let's say, two weeks in through there. But I'm a little worried. But compositionally, uh, I just feel like that's a really important sort of an exit. I'm going to talk about Henry Rankin Poor pretty soon. Um, he's got that great book on composition from 1903. And Henry Rankin Poor, uh, there's photos of him right there in the dining room at Miss Florence's. And he was one of the founders of this art colony here. And, showed at Lime Art Association, which is, you can sort of make out through there. I'll try to get some close-ups of Lime Art Association. So I'm just getting ready to pack up. The canvas still is not yet covered, as you can see, so that's going to be the priority next time, which I think might be tomorrow. I think it's supposed to be similar weather tomorrow. So 